Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Microsoft Flight Simulator. In this episode I'm going to show you guys a really cool add-on that allows you to bring your SimBrief flight plan directly into the simulator without having to switch screens or anything else uh, of that nature. So stick around because this is a really good one. If you are interested in acquiring any of my Overkill's tutorial guides or simply interested in supporting the channel, please consider joining me on Patreon. Patreon subscribers level tier 2 and above have access to all of my guides as well as any future guides that come along down the road. Patreon link can be found in the description below and thank you to all of my current subscribers. All right, so today's add-on is very simple. It's just called SimBrief Panel, and it brings you a pop-out panel that uh, has your SimBrief flight plan in it. Now, this has a ton of different applications for it, no matter how you're doing this, and we're going to walk through a real brief uh, demonstration of it. Nothing too crazy. I'm not even going to start the aircraft. This is going to be a really short video, like I said, guys. But one of the drag things about SimBrief or using SimBrief or any flight plan creation tool in general is simply just trying to, you know, bounce back and forth or you have to have a PDF or a second window open. Um, and one of the real drags to that can be VR, depending on the aircraft that you're flying. You may not have access to that information when in VR. So VR users, I'm hoping that this will be a really big game changer for you guys, especially as if it's a default window with inside of Microsoft Flight Simulator, I can't see any reason why this wouldn't work. So let's go ahead and just real quickly talk about what you need to do. You just simply download it, put it into your community folder, nothing else, no other configuration outside the simulator. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to SimBrief and you're going to create a flight plan. Here we have a real easy flight plan from uh, Tucson to Las Vegas in the TBM 930. Now, normally I would come up here and print the uh, PDF uh, just because it makes things a little bit easier to read. However, we're going to change things up here a little bit. We're not going to go that route. Now, something that you're going to want is uh, you're going to want your username. So here mine is Overkill Productions. All right, so then we're going to take that information and then what we're going to do is let me just move this over here and let's come back to the sim panel here and in here i'm just going to simply type overkill productions now it doesn't accept spaces because i don't think the user uh, names do either so overkill productions and we're going to hit save now it says no flight plan so we're just going to hit fetch and check this out that was instantaneous now it gives you all of the primary information. So you have your route. So here we're coming off of two nine or left um, and uh, flying from direct go, jump to the Tucson waypoint, jumping on the V105, blah, 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 direct into Las Vegas on two six left. But it gives you everything else that you need to, your payload, your cargo, your fuel, zero fuel weight, final reserves, alternate fuel. I mean, these are all the information that you enter into your CDUs and FMCs. Uh, There's your cost index, your cruise altitude, very, very awesome information. Even gives you your uh, airport elevation, destination elevation, and even the alternate elevation and tells you what the aircraft that you're flying and if you're using airline and flight number. So really, really awesome. Now, one of the cool things that I do want to remind you guys, especially as we're all starting to more and more frequently use other monitors, new screens. I did that one a while back about the touch screens. Okay, if you do the pop out, I'm not going to do it because I'll take it off the menu and then I'll have to find a setting for it in OBS. So, but you can do the pop out and then drag this onto other screens as well, touch screens, etc. I don't know why you necessarily want to put it on a touch screen, but a very, very handy tool. And the cool part is if you'd like, so if you're sitting here and let's say we had our uh, screens on here, we would come down here. Let's move forward. And if I was programming my FMC, dang it, there we go. I could simply just have all my information here and be clicking away and having it all right there at the ready. And we get down to the flight plan. All of your procedural information is going to be there. Really, really slick tool. Very simple and very, very beneficial. This is actually... And, and I don't want to take away from any of the, of the major developers and, and their FMCs and their fly pads and things like that. Like, but this is even more advantageous than, a, than the, the uh, EFBs because the EFBs, you still have to bounce from screen to screen. You know, I would have to look over to the left then look back to the right, etc. Where this, you can have it right next to you as you're typing away without ever having to leave it. So much like you would have it on a clipboard in real life. You know, you'd probably have it right there next to you and be able to just get going. And if you needed to, you can reset it 
takes it back out, fetch a new flight plan if you needed one. And the integration is so fast. It is such a very, very awesome setting here. And the cool thing is if this is too small, um, you would be able to, again, if you click this button, it will undock it, and then you'd be able to stretch the screen out. Oh, actually, let's see what it does. There you go. It doesn't look like it changes the font, but it'll change the screen size. So eh, that's kind of beneficial. I hope that they create an, an option where it scales as you increase it. Uh, that might make it better for visibility purposes. But uh, this is a really, really cool tool. I just wanted to take a few minutes to show this one to you guys. This is a real short video. Again, not much uh, needed to be displayed here. But I wanted to make sure you guys were aware of this because we have so many different aircraft where this kind of entry is required. And SimBrief is so heavily used that I figured this would be a good one to show off to you guys. So again, link to this download down in the description below. Unzip it. Put it into your community folder, log in, go to settings if you, if you don't already, type in your username, hit save, go to plan, select fetch, and as long as you have already hit uh, generate flight plan, I know I left that on the screen, so let's bring this back over here actually. As long as you already hit generate flight plan, which would be up here, and you're at this screen at least, uh, the uh, add-on will be able to retrieve it, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but this is, this is really slick. Very, very well done. I'm very impressed with this stuff. Um, I love seeing these kind of add-ons. I'm actually surprised it took uh, this long to get something like this, but uh, fantastic work to the developer. This is a much, much needed add-on. As always, guys, stay safe and healthy, and I will see you all in the next one.